Hey YouTube, this is Passive Cash Stacker, and today we're going to show you how to take all of your Amazon eBooks or your Kindle eBooks, AZW or AZW3, and allow you to be able to put them on any device and be able to read them with any eBook reader without having to have the Kindle app or a Kindle reading device. Now, let me stress something to you you don't want to use this process if you have not purchased these books uh, if you are getting them for free on uh, Kindle Unlimited or you're borrowing these books you don't want to use this because the authors don't get paid and you want to make sure that the authors get paid so they don't get paid until you've read at least 10 percent of the book this technique is for anybody who has purchased their books and owns them so that you can use them on any one of your devices so there's only three steps that you need to do for this and with these three steps we're gonna break them down really quickly and at the end of this video we will have a link below to our blog that will have all the links and all the detailed information that you need so if you don't pick it up in this video you will be able to reference it easily and quickly all right so all you need to do is open up your browser uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Amazon and on Amazon in the search bar you're going to type in Kindle for PC now Kindle for PC is the program that you're going to need that allows you to go ahead and uh, do all of the things uh, without being an app so now if you go down here uh, if you're running Windows 8 or if you're running uh, Windows 10 then it will have a Kindle app that is available and that Kindle app is not going to work so you see I've got the Kindle app but you don't want to use that because the Kindle app will set aside files that are unacknowledgeable to any other program and you will not be able to find the files because they are not regular ebook files. So what you do is you find the Kindle for PC app and then what you do is you just download it and install it very simple and easy then what you're going to need is the Calibre ebook reader app and so you just go here to Calibre ebook management and with the Calibre ebook management that is a a ebook reader that reads any kind of ebook file that's out there it also converts files which is what you want so what you do is you come over here to Calibre you download the Calibre and it's going to give you options uh, you'll have the ability to download it for Windows for Apple for Linux and one other thing that we really like is that you have portable right here you can also put it on a portable device which is pretty awesome and then Windows 64 bit as well so you just click on that right there pretty simple like I said this step getting these programs that you need only takes about two or three minutes and then you are set and ready to do to go ahead and you know, get all of the ebooks that you want converted so that you can read them on any application so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click this link right here I've already downloaded it but you would click the download Calibre and it says that it's good for 7 8 and 10 on Windows as well as Vista and then you would just save the file like I said I've already got it so I'm not going to download it but once again you just install that very quick simple and easy now the last thing that you're going to need is D DRM it is a plug-in for Calibre so you would type in DDRM and it's going to be from Apprentice Alf's blog we will go ahead and uh, provide you with links to all of this so you can quickly and easily just click one two three and get it done um, but this is the magic right here that allows you to get it so what you're going to need is the DDRM tool right now they got 6.5 uh, point two um, you know when you get it it might be a little bit later but like I said we'll have a link to this so you just go ahead and click on that there and you go ahead and download it I personally have already downloaded it so we don't need to download it again uh, once you've done all of that go ahead and open up your Kindle for PC is what it should look like so we're gonna open that up for you so you can see and confirm that you do not have the Kindle app because you don't want the Kindle app okay so this is what the Kindle program is gonna look like so you see we've got all the books here we've got all the books downloaded so all books is gonna be what's in your cloud for Amazon and then you have all your downloaded books this is what's gonna be on the hard drive now you see here how it has the check marks 
Uh, that means that they have been downloaded and they are located on your hard drive, which is a good thing. So once you know that you have books and you have them downloaded uh, to the Kindle app, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your file explorer. And on your file explorer, you're going to go to documents. And then uh, the folder is going to be my Kindle content. Now, if you have the Kindle app, and not the Kindle program for PC, you will not have this folder called My Kindle Content. But since we have the Kindle for PC application, uh, then we will have this. So you open this up, and this is going to have all of the files. Now, these files are Kindle content. Uh, so these are Amazon Books. So every single one of these here is going to be an ebook. All right, so what you do is you open up your Calibre app. So we got our Calibre app here. So just go ahead and open up your Calibre app. And that will take one moment to go ahead and pop up. And then you look at formats. So right here is the format that the Amazon program has, which is the AZW3. That is going to be uh, what comes directly from Amazon. And then what we converted it to is EPUB. Now you have the opportunity and the ability to convert it to PDF. Uh, you can convert it to EPUB. You can convert it to whatever you want. Um, but when you convert it, you want to make sure it's on something that's going to be readable. Now, what we love about EPUB is it keeps all of the basic characteristics of the ebook and it's playable on almost any device out there. So you can play it on iPod, you can play it on your Android, you can play it on your computer, uh, on your Amazon tablets, all of that. Once you have uh, done the previous steps, then you go here to preferences. You click on preferences and change Calibre behavior. Then you'll scroll down here to the bottom, which says plugins. Uh, down here at the bottom, it says load plugin from file. You would click on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to select the DDRM plugin. You're going to go ahead and open that. And then it's going to uh, successfully install once it successfully installs then that gives you the ability to go ahead and convert your files so once you've installed that plugin you go ahead and close this out and then you want to completely close the entire program and what that's going to do is it's going to update the program so that it has the new plugin uh, set up and then what you would do is just get back into Calibre and once you get back into Calibre, then uh, any book that you want to convert will really quickly and easily convert to any type that you want to do. So let's go up here where it says convert books. And we can either convert an individual book or we can bulk convert the books. So uh, if you bulk convert, you could do all of the books or however many books you select or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and select this one book and then we're going to convert individually and so this is the book here and so right here at the top right hand corner you'll see what you can convert it to so you can convert it to any one of these formats which is amazing and it's free you don't even have to pay for the program which is phenomenal uh, but if you find this program useful you can always donate to the people who invented it which is good uh, EPUB like I said is the widest version that you can use on almost any device and if on the device that you have you can't use EPUB you can always convert it to PDF PDF is readable on 99.9% .9 of all um, readers phones and computers PDF is the fail safe but we went EPUB for the ones that we want and then all you do is you click here on the bottom you click OK and what it does is it converts it and right down here in the bottom it says jobs you can click on the jobs and it shows you that it's going to convert it how fast it's going to convert it the progress and how long it's going to take so really really simple once it's done it's going to get to the end and it'll say finished but once you've done that you now have all of your books updated and backed up on any 
readable device that you want. So you can put that on your phone, your tablet, your e-reader. You can put that on your computer. Uh, you can save it for later. And uh, one reason why I suggest doing this is once you buy your e-books, uh, you can guarantee that no one will ever take it away. A good example of this is people previously on Amazon bought 1984 and Amazon actually recalled it and took the book back. Um, so the great thing is, is once you buy this book, it will be your book forever and no one can ever take it away, which is pretty awesome and amazing. So hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, we will have a link below to our blog that will have detailed instructions just in case you didn't catch something. And uh, we will also have all the links so that you can just click and get to all of the applications that you need quickly and easily. And, uh, you know, if you get a chance, if you like this video, share it. You know, on any of your social applications, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, share it so that other people can also have this knowledge. Once again, thank you so much for watching here at Passive Cash Stacker. We really appreciate your support. And thanks for watching. The reason why I really looked into this on how to convert these files is I signed up for the program on Amazon for getting Kindle books and I could not get the Kindle app to open up on my cell phone. I even spent three hours on customer service going through three different countries uh, for not only the uh, Kindle app uh, but also through Amazon and also through Audible and none of them could fix the problem where I could get the app to open up on my phone and I've got one of the newest phones you can find I'm not gonna say what the brand is but I've got one of the newest uh, phones you can find it's the highest quality and I couldn't get the Kindle app to open so this is one big reason why I wanted to find out how to convert it after I bought the books so that I could read them and use them